children as we'll be before your people today. And we pray in Jesus' name, God, as we go into this series a little bit deeper, a little bit further, called Showtime, when it deals with our lifestyles, example, influence, leadership, and maturity. It's time to put Christ on show in our lives to the world. Amen. So we ask you in Jesus' name, you just touch our mind, our understanding, so we may understand the one side of your law. In Jesus' name we pray today. Amen. Amen. And amen. 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 Now, you know, we've been talking about if there's ever been a time to show Christ to our family, our loved ones, you know, our friends, those around us, or the workplace, it's now that people can yes. see Christ in us, a reflection of his goodness, a reflection of his mercy. So every step you take, every move you take, somebody is looking at you. And whether we want to, you know, uh, accept it or not, we're an example. The Bible said we are living epistles. That's powerful. That's powerful. So somebody's watching you. And today I want to talk about what type of influence are you putting out? What are people getting when they get you? Say, man, let's go to scripture this morning. Influence. I'm talking about authority. Because if you have authority, you have influence. If you're in control, control of something, and we know God has the ultimate control, but it's influence. When you're in a position of power, leadership, it's all influence. And we have to evaluate what type of influence that we're taking from people. What are people influencing in our lives? Amen. Because that influence is going to be done directly connected to how you're going to react. Now, maybe you don't think you need to evaluate influence, but I do. I do it all the time. Because negative influences will take me in a direction that the Spirit of the living God doesn't want me to go. Amen. So if I evaluate you or what you're contributing to my life or what you're putting in my ear, when I get my ear gate, I argue, once I process it and talk to God about it, mm-hmm. the connection we have may not be a good connection. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. I hope y'all are listening now. Mm-hmm. Influence is a big deal. Big deal. And you have to evaluate it. Let's go to scriptures. Second Kings chapter 15, verse 3 and 4. Second Kings chapter 15. Verse 3 and 4. How should we evaluate being influenced and influencing others? How should we evaluate? Well, look at this. 2 Kings 15, verse 3 to 4. Uzziah did what was pleasing in the Lord's sight. That's 2 Kings chapter 15. Uh, 2 Kings chapter 15, verse 1. Uh, I'll say 15, verse 3 and 4. 2 Kings 15, verse 3 and 4. 2 Kings chapter 15, verse 3 and 4. It said, Uzziah did what was pleasing in the Lord's sight, just as his father, Amazon Emma, had done. But he did not destroy the pagan shrine, where the people offered sacrifices and burnt incense. Let me read that again. Uzziah did what was pleasing in the Lord's sight, just as his father, Amazon had done. But he did not destroy the pagan shrine where the people offered sacrifices and burnt incense. Now, why didn't he do it? Why didn't he destroy it? Let me explain something to you. A lot of reasons why we don't destroy certain things in our lives because they come from influences of other people. And because of the way we watch them react, what we saw them do, sometimes in our spirit, in our mind, it's a give or take if we should do it or not. Based upon what we've seen somebody else do. You mm-hmm. must seek to be influenced by a Christ-like model. Now, everybody's not a Christ-like model. Mm-hmm. Everybody ought not be able to influence your life. 
Amen. Although Uzziah accomplished a great deal, he did a lot, but he failed to destroy the high places. The location of these pagan shrines in Judah. Now, just as his father, Amazai, the grandfather of Joash, had failed to do, he failed to do the same thing. See? And he said, well, daddy didn't do it, granddaddy didn't do it, why should I do it? But you gotta realize, son, you gotta do what's right knowing that you know what's right. Not to be with anybody, I'm gonna do what's right according to what God put in my spirit. Oh, and Isaiah imitated the king he had heard stories about and watched while growing up. Although Uzziah's father and grandfather were basically good kings, uh -huh. my point. They were good kings, but here's my point. They were poor models in some important areas. Now, uh -huh. even though somebody might be a model before you, they may be poor in certain areas. Are you listening? Amen. Now, now, it's just like, okay, let's say I got an uncle, okay? Uh, he teaches me things. You know, Amen. he's my father that teaches me things. But, you know, I can't go by his every example. Maybe he was good at teaching me how to hunt or, 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 or teach me how to uh, maybe uh, uh, shine my shoes or teach me how to iron my clothes. Uh -huh. But he was a poor example when it comes to women. Are you listening? Amen. 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 You know, he was a player, a woman abuser. See, mm -hmm. what I'm trying to tell you, say, is based upon influence. You have to realize that everybody's influence is not Christ-like. Amen. And you have to be able to discern what's good and what's bad. Amen. Now, you might have a great mother that can cook. Okay? That love you, tuck you in at night, but she cuts like a drunken sailor. Amen. So you Amen. can't pick up the parts of her life that's cussing, huh? Amen. Amen. Come on Amen. now. Amen. But it's a hard lesson, but you gotta get it. Amen. Because Amen. everything that somebody does is not necessarily good influence for you. Influence for you. And you got to be able to take some and leave some mm -hmm. and go by what's mm -hmm. right and mm -hmm. leave the things that are wrong alone. Are you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Poor models in some areas that are important. Mm -hmm. You got people that are poor models mm -hmm. in certain areas. Amen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They can teach you how to clean the house, teach you how to be a lady. But I mean, you've been evicted four or five times. Come on, man. Uh -huh. There are certain yeah. things. Are y'all listening? Certain things. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 You got to pay your bill. Amen. Pay your bill. Uh -huh. Amen. You got to rise above the influence of poor role models, say. Amen. Amen. You got to rise above. You got to rise above the influence of people that, you know. Say one thing, but they could do some errors and pour it up and do it up. And we better be careful about double sin. Now, I know some of y'all sitting here on the line today, it'll be people out there on the, uh, you know, on the internet trying to figure out what the world is double sin. <laughs> well, I'm not going to have you sitting there wondering what it is. Just hang in here for a minute. I want you to realize something. When you get the influence from a poor role model, you got to learn to speak a better role model. Oh, you got to learn to go after better influence. Oh, amen. amen. Now, maybe amen. your aunt was so up from the flow up, but maybe you got another aunt that's a good influence in your life. Yeah. Oh, now, you got to realize that Christ will provide perfect model for you. Christ will be yeah. a perfect model for you. No matter, oh, no matter how you were raised, or who was influencing your life, you can move beyond those limitations by taking Christ as your example. And, yeah. and seriously, Amen. seriously, let him influence your life. Are you listening? Yes. Yeah. Trying to live as he lived. Trying to walk as he walked. Now, 
Let me get to double sins in a minute, but I want to talk to you about something. If you can go to Psalms chapter 27, verse 10 to 14, the book of Psalms, verse 20, chapter 27, verse 10 to 14, the book of Psalms chapter 27, verses 10 to 14, I want to deal with this for a minute. I want to deal with this for a minute. I want you to see this here. One of the most painful things under anybody's influence. Listen to me closely. God bless you. This morning. Good morning. God bless you. Our subject this morning is influence. Influence. And we're in our series called Showtime. We dealt with lifestyle. We dealt with examples. And now we're looking at people's influences in your life. Now, Eric, mm-hmm. each and every one of you surely been influenced by people, okay? Mm-hmm. But I want to show you what can be the most painful thing when it comes down to influence. When somebody Amen. forsakes you. When you are forsaken. When you are forsaken. When you're pushed to the side, kicked to the curb, somebody you looked up to, Somebody you believed in, somebody you thought you could trust. This could be a could be a past boyfriend that you were going to marry. Could have been a past relationship you thought would last forever. Could be a, a family situation. Could be a, a, a relationship with your sister, with your mother, with your father, with your family. You understand? It's nothing worse than being in a situation. That you had good influence, and then you're pushed to the side and forsaken. Amen. Lord have mercy. Amen. Amen. You're talking about pain. That's serious pain. Yes, when you look at Psalm um, 27 and verse 10 to 14, Samantha, it says, Though my father and my mother forsake me, I'm yes. in the international version, the Lord will receive me. Did you see that? Did you see that? Just that first verse right there, pain medicine is coming to somebody somewhere on this line. Though my mother, though my, I'm sorry, though my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. And then once you're received by God, look what it says in verse 11. Teach me your ways now, Lord. See? See See that? You see that? You forsaken, pushed to the side. God has received you. And then he said, teach me your way. Amen. Lead me. Lead me. Lead me yes. in a straight path. Amen. Because of my oppressor. Mm-hmm. Do not turn me over to the desires of my own folk. Amen. People, I'm talking about people that really meant you. Oh, God. Listen. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you what I'm trying to say. People that smile in your face. But push you to the side like you're not. Amen. Amen. You know, they, they, they had a purpose and a desire to see you fail. Oh. If they, if, 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 listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you this. If they wanted to see you successful, they'd have hung with you. Amen. Are you listening to me? Uh-huh. He said, for false witnesses rise up against me, sprouting malicious accusations. Mm-hmm. Okay? Because usually when you push to the side, when you're forsaken, they want to talk bad about you. You understand? Mm-hmm. Well, they had some nasty ways. I didn't like mm-hmm. how they carried themselves. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They looked at mm-hmm. me, you know, in ways that made me feel as though they didn't like me. They hated me. See, because let me mm-hmm. tell you what people do. They're always, when they do you wrong, they're always trying to make like you wrong them. Oh! Mm-hmm. Listen, mm-hmm. Listen to me closely. Mm-hmm. When people wrong you, they will always try to justify it by saying yeah. the wrong that you've done to them. Uh-huh. Now, let me tell you something. They'll spread out malicious accusations that are absolutely positively lies. Amen. Amen. Watch this, Linda. Verse 13. Of Psalm 27, but I will remain confident of this. See, let me explain something to you. When you've been hurt, okay, when you've been uh, falsely accused, when you've been, you know, treated like a throwaway child, 
Yes, you know yes. When, 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 when you have been treated like, you know, you really wasn't necessary. Mm. You know, when you've been treated like, I really didn't need you anyway. Is anybody yeah. here today? Yeah. Is anybody yeah. here Amen. Amen. Like when you treat it like your it's not necessary. We don't need you. Goodbye. Amen. Amen. More than anything else in your life, I don't care if you've been through a divorce. You understand? I don't oh. care if you've been through situations where you've been mistreated, oh. abused. Amen. The one thing that God wants to do is you trust him as he leads you and gives you strength and shows you down the straight path. you got to remain confident. Amen. See, you've got to get your confidence back. Amen. And that's why Judy, verse 13 uh, of Psalm 27 said, I will remain confident of this, that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. God said, I'll you right here. Because they try to set you up for failure. Oh, 
you to a better situation. Huh? Amen. Huh? Amen. Our influence on others is going to be judged by God. Yes. See, that's, that's right. what these bullies in these schools don't realize. That's right. Amen. But I want you to hear this this morning. I want you to realize something that your influence on others will be judged by God. Amen. Now, let me talk to you for a minute. Mm. Zechariah was an evil king mm -hmm. because he encouraged Israel to sin by worshiping idols. Mm -hmm. See, now, I'm taking you all the way to the book of Revelation where we've been in here for a couple of months now. Because mm -hmm. remember, I told you how uh, in the book of Revelation that they were crying and asking for the rocks to fall on them. Mm -hmm. and Amen. Because uh, they realized that they had taught false doctrine and they had led people mm -hmm. to the Antichrist. Okay? And mm -hmm. Revelation, Jesus our Lord, they rather just be crushed. Mm -hmm. What you got to realize, Saints, is sin is serious. Yeah. But let me tell you something. Listen to me good. Because our subject is influence. But it's mm -hmm. even more serious to encourage others to disobey God. Mm -hmm. um, now, maybe you never heard of devil sin. Maybe it's a new term to you. But let me tell you what devil sin is. Devil sin is when you sin it. Okay? You mm -hmm. sin it. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about you. Mm -hmm. And you encourage somebody else. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. When you're doing wrong and you encourage Amen. others to do wrong, Amen. okay, that is what the term devil sent me. Amen. Okay? Amen. That means that not only have you said you encourage others to sin. Now, Amen. you're tempted mm -hmm. by somebody. Turned on by somebody. We just come mm -hmm. on this here. You know what I'm saying? It's called drink man, but that why they gonna hurt you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then the next mm -hmm. thing you know, you're in a situation where you done compromise your faith. Are you mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. you may be in trouble? Okay? You may be in trouble. But you gotta realize that person that tempted you into doing what you did is also in trouble. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. Because Amen. what you got to realize something, what we teach you this morning. Amen. Amen. And it's double sin. Double sin. Mm -hmm. And it's double sin because just like Zachariah was an evil king, he encouraged other people to worship these idols. So guess mm -hmm. what? It ain't like God didn't see him when he did it. Amen. It ain't like God didn't see that man that led you astray, that woman that led you astray. You understand? Mm -hmm. it, it, Amen. It, I want you to realize that. Amen. God sees it all. Amen. He sees it all. Now, let me go a little bit further. So, I want you to realize that we're responsible for the way we influence other people. Amen. See, and let me tell you something. I, I, you know, people want to talk about this. To some of y'all today, you listen to that pastor, this is a whole new subject. I know it is. I know it is. Mm -hmm. I know it is. That's why we all moments with Messiah. That's why so many people love to come here in the morning. Because you listen, you get a revelation of something that you need to be careful about. You need to be careful mm -hmm. about. It's one thing for you to stand, but to then to lead somebody else into it, like you think God mm -hmm. don't see what you're doing. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. And you're responsible for the ways you influence other people. Yeah, amen. So you got to beware of double sin, y'all. Amen. It's influence of somebody else. Amen. That means it not only hurts us, but it hurts others by encouraging them to sin. That's oh, double amen. sin. Oh, Are you amen. listening to me? Amen. All right, now I'll give you one more scripture. I'm going to leave y'all alone. Romans chapter 1, verse 32. And I'm still dealing with double sin right here. Your influence. Amen. Your influence. Look what it says. They were fully aware of God's death penalty. See, let me tell you something. 
be careful of someone that smiles in your face, but they're actually the devil's advocate. Amen. I had to stop. Amen. Amen. Because some of y'all probably had a devil call you this morning on the telephone. <laughs> <laughs> They work for the devil, man. Amen. They, they, they know. Probably not going to your door. Probably going to be house last night. <laughs> you come to church, show enough. Do it all. And they're fully aware of God's death penalty for those who do these things. Who do these yeah. things. They, they know that God is going to judge them. They, yeah. they go right ahead and do them anyway. Now, let me tell you something. I don't know where they at, child, that, but I'm here to tell you today that if you know that you're doing wrong and you know God's against it and you know God doesn't want it and you know you're going against the very thing that you're supposed to not be doing, you're doing it anyway. Let me tell you something, man. You know, I, you know, you got to realize something. You go right ahead and do it anyway and you know it's wrong. Amen. And then you turn around, Romans 1 and 32 said, and worse yet, they encourage others to do them too. Wow. Wow. You're just guilty, 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 and you're double guilty. Amen. That's why we started out this morning talking about you got to evaluate influence by biblical standards. Amen. Now, I said I was in a hurry, but I got to slow down for a minute because I got to talk to you about subliminal seduction. Subliminal mm -hmm. seduction. Because, you know, many of us think that, okay, it's got to be some person, got to be some human being. Let me tell you something, baby. Listen to me closely. Listen to me closely. People tend to believe lies that are reinforcing their own selfish and personal beliefs. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you got to realize something that subliminal seduction is the ability to project a seductive thought. In other words, to make you do something. I want to make it simple. Mm -hmm. Into your subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. And to seduce you to do something. And when you do it, because that suggestion came into your mind through television, through music, mm -hmm. movies, any mm -hmm. type of media, the suggestion mm -hmm. came in your mind, and then you do it. And what happens is you do it, and you think it's your own thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Am I sorry? Is anybody listening to me? Listen, man. You're watching something on TV. You're watching something on social media. And then all of a sudden, you say, well, listen, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. The thought didn't even come from you. Yeah. The thought came from what you were looking at. It came from what you were listening to. Yeah. I mean, I'm very careful people that go around all day with earphones on. I got yeah. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. But, you know, I'm concerned what you listen to. Yeah. You understand? You know, yeah. listen, you got songs rap songs that have suggestions in them. Mm -hmm. It's the reason why Lil Joey act crazy. Well, Lil Joey is sitting up listening to the rap music all the time, and the rap music is giving Lil Joey little nasty Amen. ideas. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Now, 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 here we have Lil Joey was on the right track. Amen. But Lil Joey Amen. got off into the gangster rap. Now uh -huh. Joey got his pants hanging down, letting his crotch show. Uh -huh. Grabbing his crotch. Uh -huh. Calling what is these? See, you know, I don't even know. I, you know, uh -huh. time, I don't. I don't know if y'all listen to not this morning. Amen. Uh -huh. I, I don't know what. I, I, I don't know what makes you think. That your child is not picking up suggestions uh -huh. from the music. Amen. 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 
I mean, let me take you all the way back. Let's, let's, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's, let's roll back the hand a little bit. Okay. You know, when I grew up, I watched shows like The Lone Ranger, you know, and Tonto, okay? Mm-hmm. And, you know, early days of Spider Man and Speed Racer. Captain K, all these different things. Somebody put your phone on mute. I don't need all that background noise this morning now. Put your phone on mute if you're doing things. Okay, listen. But keep the speaker on because I want you to hear. All right, look. You know I love Jesus' name. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so as a child, you know, we had run through the woods and, you know, play cowboys and Indians, everything. Where do we get that from? We got that for watching. Got watch TV. We wanted to be Spider Man. Uh-huh. You, know you know, I mean, I'm talking about being a child. You understand? Uh, I mean, you gotta realize that a uh, little girls play with Barbie dolls. Okay. Uh-huh. You know, they see the advertising. They want the Barbie dolls for Christmas. You know, they want a GI Joe. You understand? Uh-huh. We'd be outside with our little GI Joe. A uh, little, little bit of toys, and we be playing like we G.I. Joe. See, mm-hmm. you gotta realize that we're picking that up from somewhere. Mm-hmm. And you're acting out what's going in your mind, and here I'm running around thinking I'm G.I. Joe with the Kung Fu grip. Why are you mm-hmm. listening to <laughs> So mm-hmm. I want you to realize something. You fast forward that to 2023. Mm-hmm. 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 And yeah, listen, I want you to realize though, that these children are picking up stuff from music from what they watch. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. That's why they're so yeah. promiscuous. You better watch BET. Oh, okay? Yeah. Help yeah, me, Lord. Uh-huh. So they pick up stuff from movies. Uh-huh. And the rest of the media often presents simple lifestyle. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Unwholesome values. Oh, yeah. I mean, I remember when Superfly came out, everybody, you know, yeah. wanted to look like Huggy Bear or Superfly. Hey, <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> Lord, Amen. I mean, you know, the coolest of the cool had a little cocaine spoon around his neck, made of gold. Mm-hmm. And uh-huh. Yeah, oh, I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher, whether you want to yeah, get it or not. Listen, yeah, your little baby thinking they'll let it grow long like they snorting yeah, something yeah. up their nose. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All of this stuff is coming from what they get off the TV. Amen. Amen. Or a movie. Because uh-huh. yeah. we are bombarded, saints, oh, by yeah. attitudes and beliefs that are totally opposite to what the Bible teaches. Amen. And that's Amen. the reason why we can't play around with the word. Amen. Listen, if you can't give it to me straight, let me go. I don't want to hear Amen. Amen. something that I can apply to my life. And the day the subject is influence. Amen. Evaluate the influences in your life. Amen. Amen. Be careful about what you allow to come into your eye game, what you see, mm-hmm. what you Amen. Do. Amen. You know, because those things do form opinion. Amen. And, 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 and I want you to realize something that, you know, like, just like if you're in church with somebody and they don't like somebody else. You know, when you go over and speak to that person, you say good morning, and you sit down next to say, I would dare speak to her. Mm-hmm. Honey, mm-hmm. you know, you know that thing right there is something else. Mm-hmm. Now, you don't know, listen, you're just being nice and kind. You don't have a problem with this sister. You have mm-hmm. a problem with this brother. Okay? Mm-hmm. Well, basically, mm-hmm. when somebody else not liking somebody, all of a sudden, you stop liking somebody. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you, let, let me explain something to everybody on this line. I want you to realize something, and I'm talking about me. I don't dislike people because other people don't. Other people don't. Amen. 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 You understand? Amen. You know, I, I have to get to know that person myself. Amen. Amen. You know, I, I, I'm not 
not drinking haterade with you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not Amen. in your uh, situation. You understand? Amen. I'm not piggybacking on your hate. Amen. Amen. If you don't Amen. like the person, okay, no problem. But it's nothing wrong with me being friends with them and friends with you if you really want to be friends. Amen. Amen. Now, if I can't be your friend because I'm being nice to this person or I'm being friends with this person, let me tell you something. I love everybody. And the Bible says that he, let me tell you, let me tell you he, this, his love and grace and mercy reign on the just and the unjust. He don't like the sin, but that don't mean he don't love the sinner. Are you listening to me? But you are such a shallow person that you can't draw the line and say, listen, I ain't got nothing against the person. They ain't got nothing to say. There's nothing wrong with me yeah. being their friend, and maybe you need to reevaluate your situation. And you yeah. know, I ask you, I ask you, have you ever talked to them about it? Uh -huh. I mean, you're going around not speaking to each other for a whole year, but have you ever sat down and figured out, you know, talked it out? Have you ever told them how you feel? You understand? See, because you're supposed to go to your sister and brother and try to reason it out for them with them before you go to the elders of the church. Are you listening to them? Are you listening to them? And if I was telling you, you can come up and give an offering or pay your tithe, and you got an offer with your brother, the Bible says you ought to go make it right with your brother first before you even come to the altar. So that means for the next service, you ought to be working on your issues with somebody else. Amen. 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 Evaluate. Mm -hmm. Other people's opinions. In the light of God's teaching. In the light Amen. of God. Amen. Saints, I'm, I'm about to close it up this morning. But you know, this subject of influence. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how much we influence by everything around us. Amen. You know, about what we listen to, the way mm -hmm. we act, the way we mm -hmm. carry ourselves. You mm -hmm. know. And I want you to realize something. That uh, we live in a world where we got to make sure we prepare ourselves behind Christ. Amen. If not, if not, we can seriously stumble somebody. Seriously Amen. stumble somebody. That's true. And, 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 and me, me, you don't want to go around stumbling people. As a, you know, as a pastor, I have to check myself. Yes. Yeah. You know, like earlier this morning, I, you know, I, was, man, I got off the trail, I threw something on the ground, and I backed in the hole. And I looked at that big piece of plastic I threw on the ground. And I sat there and I looked at it. I said, Lord, let me go out here and get this plastic and take this trash. Mm -hmm. I know somebody mm -hmm. probably seen me do that. Oh, but yeah. this blessed service is on the side of my truck. I say, he ain't no mm -hmm. Christian. Amen. He throw stuff on the ground like it don't even matter. And I know mm -hmm. some of you are sitting there saying, Pastor, that's just a little thing. Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you something. God is interested in the little things that you do. Because let me, give, let, let me give you a little scripture. The Bible says it's the little foxes that's born of mine. See, because when you start slipping on the little things, it won't be long before you start slipping on the big things. Are you listening to me? You understand? And I want you to realize something. The devil's advocate will knock on your door. The devil's advocate will try to get in your ear. Okay? The mm -hmm. devil wants to ruin you any mm -hmm. way, shape, or form that he can. Mm -hmm. But let me explain something to you, say. We're born again Christians. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. The only thing I'm going to say before I close out to you today, if you're born again, act like it. Mm -hmm. Act like it. Mm -hmm. Act like it. Act mm -hmm. like it. Make sure that you're acting like Jesus Christ. Make sure... And when you talk to people, you talk to them in the light of God's word. Don't nobody mm -hmm. need to hear no slang and all of that. That's not this. Mm -hmm. oh, right um, you know, when, 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 when you were born again, you were resurrected to a higher plan of thinking. A mm -hmm. higher way of life. You understand? Mm -hmm. Now, if you are a Christian, all I'm saying this morning before I get off this line is please act like it. Amen. Whether you know it or not, somebody is watching. Amen. 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 All right. Amen.
Y'all still love me? Hallelujah. Come on. Y'all still love me this morning? All right. Praise God. Thank you. Because I realized something. You know, that was on the first stone. I still got a couple more. I'm like, David. Amen. I got a couple more. I can help. In your spirit, now you might be some people you need to back off a little bit from. You understand? You know, because sometimes you don't have to explain to people. Maybe you don't understand my stand. Maybe you don't understand who I am. But you know, all that cussing you be doing, brother, it is a lot. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not acting like I'm a super saint. But, you know, really, I just don't want to slip and start cussing, too. Amen. You understand? Because bad influence is going to spoil useful habits in your life. Right? You know, like Amen. I tell married people, you don't need to run around with single people all the time. All right? Amen. No, exactly. you know, they still looking for love. You're supposed to be the unfound love. Why don't you act like that? <laughs> all right, I'm afraid to leave y'all alone. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, I thank you this morning for this service. I thank you for your work. I thank you for how you reveal things to us today. I thank you, God, for how this series that you've given us. And, you know, God, is very powerful because we're learning some things that, you know, maybe we don't hear about every day, about our lifestyle, about our example, about our influence. And, you know, God, tomorrow we move on to leadership. God, you know, we, we develop in the leadership. You know, God builds a leader on every aspect of his life. From the, the time he wake up in the morning to the time he go to bed, God is, you know, you know, he's begun that good work in you, and he wants to be able to complete it to the day of Christ Jesus. Yes. And, and you got to realize something: if, if God calls us a masterpiece, you know, to carve out a masterpiece, it take a lot of work. Yes. And God, there's some things in our life that we need to chip off. Yes. And it's show time. It's really mm -hmm. have a better time to show people who love. Yes. God, which is in Christ Jesus, is today. You know, God, yes. you just let our little light shine, you know, on the earth so we can glorify our Father in heaven. You know, yes. God, and I just pray for those that are struggling with issues and, and other people's yes. influence. And I pray that they really begin to see things as they are. You know, God, yes. not, not live a life of make-believe or pretending. You know, be yes. who you're supposed to be in Christ. Yes, yes. That's really what matters. The only the things we do for God yes, that yes. matter. Yes. I ask you in the name of Jesus, God, you prepare us for our Tuesday night Bible study tonight. Where God, yes. we, we, we examine the true meaning of what the mark of the beast is. Mm -hmm. God, I ask you in the name of Jesus, as we just pray for the sick, the shut in, the yes. down, trying to burn, yes. to heavy rain, somebody's lost, and can't find their yes. way, yes. Yes. to magnify him, mm -hmm. God, and, and help us to be good influence. Good and great example to mm -hmm. them, God. Let us be loving and caring, God. Yeah. And let us love one another as Christ has loved us. Yes, God, Lord. I thank you for your many blessings today. And God, we give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And in Jesus' name, and everybody that loves the Lord today said amen. 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 Amen.